Princess Anne and Sophie missed the fun party at Clarence House, with Kate leaving at midnight. The Crown Princess and Duchess of Edinburgh had made prior arrangements. Princess Anne and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh didn't have a great night at Clarence House, with Princess Kate leaving at midnight. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. King Charles celebrated his 75th birthday with a private party at Clarence House on Tuesday. Many members of the royal family attended, including the Prince and Princess of Wales, Queen Camilla, and Princess Beatrice. However, the King's older sister, Princess Anne, and his older siblings, Prince Edward and the Duchess of Edinburgh, did not attend. He ended the day by attending the Scottish Interfaith Week Forum. Meanwhile, the King's younger brother, the Duke of Edinburgh, arrived in Singapore later that day and missed the birthday party. Prince Edward, 59, visited Stamford, Switzerland, for a Commonwealth Games Federation reception. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, 58, attended a dinner at Rochester Cathedral for King Charles' birthday party. It is not known whether the Duke of York, who retired from public life in 2019, was present at Clarence House. Prince Andrew's ex-wife, Duchess of York Sarah York, shared a black-and-white photo of young Charles on Instagram in tribute to her former brother-in-law. Fergie, 64, captioned the post, Happy birthday His Majesty Charles III. Long live the King. Princess Kate, 41, looked slim at King Charles' birthday party. Meanwhile, Princess Beatrice, 35, looked stunning in a metallic rose gold Monique Louie stretch tulle midi dress with a matching capelet. The royal's niece, Zara Tyndall, 42, also wore a black midi dress with cut-out details by Rebecca Valence Eve. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were absent from the party after a spat broke out regarding whether the couple were invited to the event. Earlier this month, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex issued a statement disputing reports that they snubbed an invitation to King Charles's 75th birthday celebration. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said, in response to UK media headlines, there has been no contact regarding an invitation to His Majesty's upcoming birthday. It is disappointing the Sunday Times has misreported this story. The Sunday Times had claimed that a royal insider had confirmed the couple had turned down an invite to the monarch's celebration next week. However, Prince Harry did call King Charles on Tuesday to wish him a happy birthday. A source told the son regarding the call, the king was extremely busy but is polite and loves his son, and his grandchildren, and not so mean that he would not take a call on his birthday.